Hello, uh, welcome back to LinuxJobber.com. My name is Sean Me Joseph. At LinuxJobber.com, we prepare you for Linux jobs. So if you're looking to get Linux jobs, and even if you're already in the field and you are a veteran, so to say, and you, all you're just trying to do is switch from one job to another, um, we try to refresh your memory, remind you of all the commands that you might have uh, overlooked and prepare you for interviews. Again, my name is Sean May Joseph and you can always reach me at showpopulous at gmail.com and let me have your feedback. Sometimes your feedback might be positive, sometimes it might be negative, whatever it is, I still would like to get feedback from you. So in this video of today, we're going to be talking about setting up HTTPS for Apache. So let's go. Setting up HTTPS on Linux requires the uh, mod SSL and the open SSL modules and um, those usually don't come installed with um, with Linux so you might have to get it and uh, put it on your system. The way to do this on CentOS is using yum. Yum will help you install these commands and so we're going to get to do that right now. As you can see, I am not the root user on Show Popular, so if I try to do a yum, it will not allow me to download um, and install applications to this machine. So I will switch to the root user right now. Like I said, I always I like to do the minus in front of the U after the U, and the reason is that I can use the root shell and I don't have to search around for my command. So I'll do that right now and put in the password. And now that the password is in, I can always I can I can now start doing my um, install. So I'm gonna do a yum install mod SSL, and then I'm gonna also put open SSL at the same time. And I'll try to put the Y in there for years so that it doesn't have to ask me this. So while this is installing. I'm going to pause a little bit so this can install. So now that the modules have been installed on my machine, I can now use them in my uh, Apache. So the next thing that I need to do now is to generate um, uh, private keys so that the uh, the client machine can um, get my, so that I can keep my private key and send my public key to the client machine. So this is the command to generate the private key using the OpenSSL and that's why we had to um, install the OpenSSL. So let's see that. Let's do that. So now we have private key. Next we need to generate a cert uh, certificate signing request. Um, and here's the command to generate the certificate signing request key so we're going to generate that now and basically I'm taking all the defaults right here When you're doing this, if you're doing this in production, you don't want to take the defaults, you want to put in the exact and correct information in here. I'm just taking a default because this is a test machine and test information. So when you do a uh, signing request, this are the information that gets returned. So next we're going to be generating um, a self-signed key. So wait while I type this in. So to generate a self-signed key, here's the command that we, I have typed in to do that. Now let me put it in. As you can see, I have a typo in here and I'm gonna put it right back in there and then hit enter. So it generates my uh, self-signed key and then we're gonna take all this information and then we're going to 
copy them to the right location right now they're not in the right location they're just sitting in the root folder where I generated them so I'm gonna copy them over right now so first I'm copying the um, private key from this directory now to where it is needed good and now I'm gonna copy the other two and as you can see all three of them have been copied to where they're going to actually be used so one of the things that has happened when we installed the mod SSL and the open SSL modules is that the this SSL configuration file gets created in the conf.d directory the conf.d directory is a directory in the HTTP directory where all of the configuration files inside the conf.d directory gets imported into into the httpd.conf file so when you start your Apache and it it's going through the configuration in the httpd.com file every file every configuration file in the conf.d including this ssl.com file would then be included in your um, httpd.com file so but now it's just virgin it doesn't have uh paths and uh configurations um in it so now we're going to go in there and update it with our ssl certificate path so the apache knows where our, our certificate is and also we're going to put the certificate key file in there so i'm doing a less right now just so that you can see that you can see what is in there before we actually before we actually um, edit it so as you can see here's what's residing in there the SSL module the port where it's listening on these are our applications and um, this is the virtual host this is where we're going to be configuring our virtual host eventually so here's what's in here now and that's the end of it now now that we know what's inside of it we're going to add uh, SSL certificate file path into that file as you as you know it wasn't there before because we just checked it so I'm gonna put it on there now give me some minutes to type it in. so I typed it in and this is the command to put it in there and I'm gonna put it in there now so now if we search for it we will find that in there let me see if we can quickly search for it before we move on SSL So for some reason I didn't find it in there and I'm gonna go and put it in there manually and I'm gonna comment out the existing one and this is what we had in there before except that it's named differently so I'm gonna put in the new name in there and I'm gonna do the same thing to the key file So now that we're all set, if we look, if we go to Apache right now and um, we try to run the port 443, we're going to see that um, there's nothing there. So 
here's what you, you will get there now and then we're going to go and enable it so when we restart Apache then we can see uh, HTTPS come alive so now let's restart our Apache okay now let's go back here and refresh hmm. let's figure let's troubleshoot what happened here so it looks like um, it's just that I forgot to put in the HTTPS HTTPS so whenever you want to reach the HTTPS you have to remember to put in the S otherwise it will go to a different port and the web server is going to send you back saying that okay you're asking for um, your web browser sent a request that this server could not understand reason you are speaking plain HTTP to an SSL enabled server port so that's what the problem is so you have to speak HTTPS and you do that by specifying HTTPS in the URL so you do this see and then it's ready to allow us to get into to come into the into the website as you can see so now we can say okay uh, we understand the risk we can add the exception and then we can allow it temporarily and uh, we can go in see now we're on HTTPS nice and simple so that's what we have to do to do HTTPS and the next thing we're going to do now is going to go and configure SSL such that we have a self-signed certificate and we don't and the, um, the client does not have to see that message say, coming up saying that the site cannot be trusted we don't want to see this we want to actually see the site that we're actually working on so the way to do that would be to go and um, get a signed certificate either we have to pay for one or get a self-signed certificate so we're going to configure a self-signed certificate certificate but that will be in another video this video will then end now and um, remember the idea is to just prepare us for a Linux job the, the purpose of this website is to make sure that ready to go for a Linux job and remember all, and we remember all of our commands and that we're prepared to pass the interview if you have any questions concerning the this video please send me an email at showpopulous at gmail.com the benefit of this site also is that you do get accounts Unix accounts so we let you go into the accounts and um, play with Unix and test all of these things that we're that we're teaching so if you have any questions you can always ask and you can do practice exams also so that you're vast with it and then you're very well prepared for your interview the purpose of this site is to prepare you for the interview again so please don't forget to send us questions when you have any questions thank you very much for watching this video and uh, follow us thank you